Stephanie Kirkham. And from a CD called Tiny Spark, and uh, that's track one. That's called Best Time Ever. Do you write your songs? Yes, I do, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I love writing songs. Absolutely love it. Now, when did you, when did you realise you could sing and you had a talent for songwriting? Um, well, I've, I've written songs for longer than I was singing, really. I only started singing in my 30s, so I was quite late starting it. Um, but I've written songs and poems since I was a child, so I've always just loved humming and singing to myself, but never thought that I could get out there. That You know, back then, I didn't think that I could get out there and actually sing them myself, but I thought I'd love to be a writer. That was my dream. Now, is it true? Are you of the opinion that everybody... As a musical talent in some way, that they can, they can sing. I think, well, we can all talk, so we can all sing, can't we, really? Because singing is really just like talking. You just extend those notes. Well, I, 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 what I want to ask you is, is, what I'm leading up to here, how do you write a song? Where does it come from? And does, does the melody come first? Do the words come first? Um, usually with me, it's the melody comes first, and I'll be walking along and I'll, I'll have the beat of my feet, and I'll just start with a bit of a melody just comes to mind and then I I put words onto that melody that sort of anchor the melody down because I don't play guitar or piano so I need to remember that melody so at first those words just anchor the melody down and I just keep repeating it and repeating it and then the next bit comes Um, sometimes I change the words later but usually it starts with a chorus and then I add to that sometimes it starts with the beginning of a story but um, you have some songwriters will say, oh yes, I woke up <laughs> at five to six <laughs> that, that on Thursday sometimes. morning, is yeah. that right? Yeah, sometimes I'll be trying to get to sleep and there'll be a melody in my head and I'll think, if I don't sing it into my phone, um, it, it won't be there in the morning. Because I've done it before and I've thought, oh that, yeah, I really like that, that's really nice, I'll remember that. And then I wake up and think, what was that? How could you find that again? So um, I suppose it's different if, if you can play the notes and you know what the notes are, but with me it's kind of very random and very free, so I need to sing it into my phone so I've loads of little memos on my phone that are beginnings of something and sometimes they join up it's like a jigsaw and then I'll go back to something and think oh hang on that bit that bit comes in this that but that bit comes after this so use the mobile so, phone yeah when you think a few years ago people would have that have to get up I get a tape recorder play yeah. the piano or play the guitar yeah, <laughs> and yeah. sing to it well I did used to have to sing it I used to have a cassette tape under my bed and I'd sing in, into that is this your first CD this is my third CD yeah 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 um I signed a record deal it was a five album deal um, years ago, ten years ago, longer I think. Um, and then, but EMI made lots of cuts, so the little subsidiary label I was on, everyone lost the job. So the album did come out and it got played on Radio 2 and stuff, and things were starting to happen. But then that happened, so it's like I sort of um, w- w- was in a bit of shock, really, thinking, what do I do now? So the next album um, I-, I wrote, because I'd already started writing it, released that myself, and then this one. Um, is is the next one basically? Do you do, and, do, you do live gigs? Um, we do a few live gigs. Yeah, I'm starting to do more. I've moved to Cornwall though, so when I'm doing anything up north, then Keith, who's here with me today, he comes along and plays with me. And if I'm if I'm down south, then I've I've a guitarist down there. But you do Kai. get back up into this neck of the woods, and you uh, will you be doing some gigs in the future? Yeah, definitely next year. Um, the album comes out on the 22nd of January, so um, things are starting to trickle in now. So we'll be doing some gigs next year. And you're going to sing live for us now, aren't you? Yeah, we are, yeah. What are you going to sing? Um, I think I think we'll do Easy as One, Two, Three. And that is track? Um, track three. Of the CD, Tiny Spark. At the bus stop, feeling every raindrop. I wanna be dry and warm. What I wouldn't give for a tender kiss and a pair of loving arms. Joe drives by with a look in his eye and says, Hey, baby, do you wanna ride? Do you wanna ride? Easy as one, two, three, he said. Easy as one, two, three. Falling in love with you, he said, and you fall in love with me. Let's go, baby, go, baby, go. Easy as one, two, three. Monday to Friday, Joe came my way. I smiled, but I said no. Saturday comes, I'm on a go slow. I just stayed at home. 
Joe drives by on Saturday night and says, Hey, baby, do you want to ride? Do you want to ride? Easy as one, two, three, he said. Easy as one, two, three. Falling in love with you, he said, and you fall in love with me. Let's go, baby, go. Easy as one, two, three. Hey, baby, do you want to ride? Poo-poo, 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 do you want to ride? Easy as one, two, three, he said. Easy as one, two, three. Falling in love with you, he said, and you fall in love with me. How would you describe your music? Um, it's kind of storytelling, really. It's like old folk music, but then it's got more of a poppy kind of feel. So I don't really, I don't really. Yeah, it's happy. It is. Right. Every, it's, everything it's, on this album's really happy. I, I wish I know we shouldn't, but we do. We we we, we pigeonhole and stereotype music, wouldn't we? Yeah. But I suppose. Yeah, you have well, to. There, I, suppose. I know, but there's there's got to be a crossover, hasn't there? Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, there's, yeah, there's, there's, there's there's pop rock. You know, how do you describe it? You know, things are getting the charts. It's popular music. And exactly. It, yeah. And all all songs. If you take away the music and it's it, it, the lyrics and a melody, and with that l lyric and melody, you can make it into anything. You could make it a country song, or you could make it a pop song. You could make it. Do you know what I mean? It depends who you put that song with. And because I love writing so much, I'd I'd love to write songs for other people and think, well, how would they do it? You know, and what would they do? And 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 it would change. Who inspired you then? Um, when growing up, it was the Beatles and Joni Mitchell and Simon and Garfunkel, Johnny oh. Cash. Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Dear. Paul Simon. I mean, where do you where do you get those kind of ideas from? Eh? Yeah, I God, think just I mean, it's, watching life and being in it, and yeah, a song amazing. like Graceland. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, incredible. Lovely, it? lovely melodies and lovely words. Yeah, yeah. yeah fantastic. So, what would you say? To, what would you say to people who would say, who just you know maybe younger than yourself, and you think, and they think, well, I've got this idea. I think this is going to be a good song. But what do they do? I suppose they, they they go out and sing it. I mean, I I didn't I wasn't in a band. I sent a cappella demos off to record companies and um, and just sent them off as they were, saying I've got these songs. What do I do with them? Um, but um, I suppose getting through all of that, especially now, there's there's a lot less. Um, people out there t i suppose in those situations that can help up open coming people like you say with bbc introducing that's helping people get on the feed also going out to open mic nights i mean i i would say get yourself out there as much as you can um get in front of people as much as you can and 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 then you get more and more into what you're doing bbc introducing great problem because it's it's displayed such a lot of talent that we have in this county like anywhere else yeah you know? yeah right going to sing us another um, yes, please. Yeah, we'll um, we'll sing Dreamboat song. It's, it's the most laid back one on the album. Right, well, nothing we like better than Thursday afternoon than being laid back. <laughs> from the sky then you kiss me we sail away I ought to know better than to listen to what you say I ought to know better but you carry me away I should put up a fight but I won't well I might but I know I could never win You take hold of 
my heart while I fall apart and the boat starts to rock again. You let go of my hand barefoot on the sand, the sun sets, you sail away. I ought to know better than to listen to what you say. I ought to know better, but you carry me away. Try and take stars from the sky, then you kiss me. We sail away. I ought to know better than to listen to what you say. I ought to know better, but you carry me away. Stephanie Kirkham. The CD again is called Tiny Spark. Best to look for the future. Oh, thanks very much.